All right, so welcome back to DL Jones Images. Today's photo shoot, I'm gonna be doing a photo shoot with, of course, my Canon RP. And the lens I'm gonna be using on this photo shoot is one that I'm actually gonna do a series based on this lens because I got a little bit of a story to tell with this lens. And this is the Tamron 24 to 70. Uh, you can see that right there. 24 to 70 zoom lens. Now I generally shoot with prime lenses. The, the reason why I have a story with this lens is because this is my first zoom lens. Generally have been, since I've been doing portrait photography, I've been generally using used lenses. And this is all, while it also, is also a used lens, it's the most money I've ever spent for a lens up to th this far. So I had high hopes for this lens. So what we're doing today is we're gonna be shooting out in this really weird looking spot that I found with the model named Z. Um, I met her a while ago. I asked her if she wanted to do a shoot and she came along. And, um, and I got some behind the scenes footage of this shoot and we're gonna get right into this. Okay, I'm back out fresh on the scene. Franchise best on the team. Blue faces busting out the scene. New life is something like a dream. Back out fresh on the scene. Franchise best. Collapsible beauty dish. Um, this is a modifier I bought a while ago, and I was bringing it with me on every photo shoot, but I kind of stopped using it. Um, I'll get back to using it, but um, but my other beauty dish that I use, I ended up liking it a lot more. I am not friendly, I came for the paper, little baby, don't get it confused. I see them paying the play, they be paying for money, I'm paying my dues. They cannot see me unless I'm on TV in times when they happen to turn on the this was a weird, weird sunlight situation. It was around 7.30. Um, this is in the middle of the summer and it was golden hour, but the sun was really harsh. Um, it was really harsh light. Um, so I had a, I had a lot of problems adjusting to that. I was trying to use the flash to fill in shadows, but if, as you can see, there was like really, um, you know, deep shadows in that area because of the roof. And, um, and it was, wasn't a lot of room for me to lift my flash up high enough, you know, the way I wanted it. But I kind of went with the harsh lighting. I, I ended up liking the harsh lighting. Um, after I took a couple of pictures and was checking it out on my camera, um, I liked the harsh lighting, so I kind of tried to embrace it. I don't know how successful I was, but, but I, I ended up liking the images. This location was, uh, I just happened to drive by this location one day and, and the place just looks like a old school general store, but that old school looking uh, gas pump or whatever that is, is what attracted me to this place. I wanted to get some pictures in front of that. And, and, I, and I really like those pictures. I 
So there you have it, the shoot with the Canon RP and, of course, the Tamron 24-70 G2. Now, there's a second part to the shoot. She brought a friend with her, and I, and I did, and I did some, some shots with her, too. That's going to be in another video, so stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the like button and hit the bell. I don't know if the bell thing really works. You know, I've been doing YouTube for a couple of years, and I don't know if the bell thing really works. But, uh, but just make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit like, because that, that helps the uh, algorithm. The Tamron 24-70 G2, kind of like this lens, but I had some problems with it, and we'll find out. This this video here is the beginning of my Tamron 24-70 G2 series, um, and I'll start talking about wh what problems I have with this lens as I start putting out more videos. Just know that I don't have this lens no more. Well, I have this one, but this isn't the same lens that I uh, did that photo shoot with. If the next video is out, go ahead and click over here yeah that video right there that should have the next entry in this video but if that's not there yet go ahead and check out this video where i'm going to be talking about another new lens that i got and i got some pretty good results also made by tamron i'm not going to spoil it but you'll see it if the video is there go ahead and click it if it's not there yet it'll be another video there but either way thank you for watching i'll see you next time